So we are on design, Cricut Design Space um, homepage. We're going to go over here to the top right hand corner and hit new project. Um, when we hit new project, um, it allow it takes us straight to design space where we can just get started. Um, and from here, I would have gone to images. And from there, um, I went to the filter and from the filter. So if you look at this side, I went to license content and just put in Star Wars because that's what I wanted today. Notice that these have a price to them, even for those of us who pay for design space just because it's licensed content. So just want you to be aware of that. Um, so I just selected a couple of these and it says it's telling me that I'm saving 20 cents by you because I do have Cricut access. So, um, for some reason it's wanting me to check out now. So let's, let's go here. Cause I can check out all at one time just by clicking Chewbacca. And then I'm going to click. Um, a couple of others that I saw that I wanted. Um, and then we will, let's just add this to the canvas just so that you can see what it looks like. Now it's going to let, let you manipulate and do all of this. But before it lets you um, go to where you're going to print and cut it, it is going to make you pay for it. So um, I am actually going to go back to my original file that I saved here a little bit ago. Let's see my stuff. So if you already had something um, out there ready, you would just go to my stuff and then you can customize it so that you can continue to work on it. And I'm going to hit replace on that Chewbacca just so because I already had three, three things lined up here. So as you can see, I went with three again, star Star Wars um, themed items. Um, you could um, do like, um, do, you can add to these things, like say um, your person was turning three. You could make a three, put it in the font that you want, and then add it to one of these designs. So, I'm going to try to do this quickly. Um, it started me out. Ooh, 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 ooh. I see the colored, colored stuff, so I'm going to try that. And so, what in the world? Click off, click back on. Let's see. So here you might could do, you know, you might can just leave it at three. Um, if you go to the corner to the outside, so like if you go here, it lets you go up and down where you can pull it in and out and make it bigger and smaller. If you go a little bit outside of that square, it allows you to turn it whatever way that you want. So you could actually give it an angle and then like move it over to where you wanted it if you wanted to do something like that. So just so I just wanted you to see that that was an option for you. Um, right now, I don't, I don't have anybody who's three, so I'm not going to do that, but I wanted you to see that that was available to you. So from here, these are, um, this is all basic cut. So you could actually do this and you would do a purple, um, mat, a, blue mat, a green mat, a yellow mat, an orange mat, a red mat. So you, you could do that. Um, here is print and cut, um, which means you're going to use that print and cut paper. We're going to use our HTV rack. You can also make what isn't a print and cut, a print and cut. So like this says basic cut up here under operation, and I'm just going to go down and select print and cut. And then this now is a print and cut design. So that being said, um, I'm just going to flatten these just to make sure that pieces don't be coming apart. 
that one's already done so and then I'm just gonna size them to what I want so I am doing these all on either a, a t-shirt or um, onesie or a, a, a towel for a baby so they're all gonna be pretty small um, so I'm gonna go ahead like I said and just size these up you may want to measure whatever it is your um your space is so that you can make sure you get something that looks appealing to you so like this i'm gonna make five maybe four and a half here and that'll be that one and this one um I may even do six. See how big it makes it. Mm. Mm. Let's see how tall that makes that. Mm. <laughs> Maybe we'll do four. We'll do four. Mm. I don't know what I want to do. I'm going to do five. Y'all, I'm going to do five. That might be too big for what I want. And for this one, three by one. I don't like the by one. So four. And then we're going to go ahead and take the size off um, the lock off of here so I can stretch this out a little bit. So I can at least get like two inches out of that. So. I'm going to do that. All right. So once we have it the way that we want it, then our next thing to do is just to click make it over here again, top right hand corner. Um, and then I just like to look at these and see if there's any way I can move everything to one. So let me see if I can move an object here. So we're going to um, select the mat and I will show you guys what I just did. Well, let me do it that way. Let's see if I turn it. Sometimes you can make this work, but in this case, it doesn't look like I will be able to. So, all right, I need to move it back. So to move stuff, since I didn't really show you that, these three dots, and even if you did this, so these three dots here, um, if you just click on them, it's going to give you two options, move an object or hide an object. So I'm going to move that back, and then it gives you the different mats that you may have available so that you can move it to a certain mat. Um, just because I am cheap, <laughs> I don't want to waste all of this paper. I'm going to go back in um, to my canvas so that I hit the three lines at the top left. Um, I am going to hit the two designs that I'm going to duplicate here just so that again, then I'm going to go back to make it and then you will see when I go to the second sheet now I am using less. I mean I'm using more of that paper so I don't feel like I'm wasting paper. Hmm. Y'all know I'm always trying to flip stuff around. But Apparently my flipping skills are not very good today because it won't, it's not big enough to do any of that. But you can see that black line will move if you're trying to flip stuff into different spots. So from here, we're going to do our checkout because I did decide that I wanted to buy these three pieces. And now those items belong to me so I can hit continue this send to the printer so right now I need to have my HTV run paper in the printer so that I can send it over there so I'm gonna get that paper ready when you hit send to the printer you have a print setup box that comes up you're checking your paper size you're checking which printer you're sending it to how many copies of that that you want to do and then you can have your bleed on and off. Um, bleed in this case doesn't really matter. So you can leave it on or off. Um, and then you want to hit print. 
and you can see it goes to the next step just so you guys can see this I have this saved in my favorites um, printable on on dark but you could always go to browse materials type in up here printable um, iron on dark or just type in iron on let's go ahead and do that so you can see it and then it's going to give you oh just type in on and then it's going to give you all of your different iron on options that you have here so i would just go down the printable iron on dark i would hit done and then it goes to my next option which is your pressure so from there we don't really need to change the pressure there um, so um, from there then our machine takes over and does the work for us a couple of things one i did not put a box around the um two of the items so i needed to go back and i'm going to show you how to do that so but i want to show you what it did so if you don't flatten it down to a shape then you get you get it where it's trying to cut out each individual letter and for some reason something must have been in this b that somebody designed where there was a whole lot of cuts in there because all it did was um, um, make a whole lot of cuts. <laughs> so, um, so that's that. So you want to make sure that you flatten it down to something if it's individual letters and you don't mind a box. If you want it to cut individual letters, that's fine. You just have to keep in mind the design that's in it because depending on that design that's in there, may depend on whether you get stuff that's a little ratty tatty like this um also like you can see like this one isn't bad the star wars and i'm actually going to use one of these when we're doing this just so that you can see that as well so i went back and like i said i'm going to show you that so let me show it to you i am going to add a box um unlock this I'm going to add a box here and I just want it to fit over. So I just, I'm arranging it to the back so I can see what it looks like. And then I'm just going to do like this. I'm going to change the color of this to white. Um, I'm going to try two different things here. So with this one, I'm going to do, I have these two pieces together. I'm going to um, attach, I'm going to flatten this. So then that way those two pieces are together. So that when it cuts, it's going to cut around this white box. Okay. So we're going to do that same thing with this box as well. So I mean with this word as well so with that again I'm going to shapes I'm going to add a shape I'm going to take the unlock off on the side so that I can move this box the way that I want um, see just covering it up and then I'm going to move that box I'm going to arrange it to the back and I'm going to change the color of it to white um, and then any little adjustments I feel like I need to make this would be my time to make them. Um, then I'm going to grab both pieces, attach, and flatten. I probably should have did that to this. So let me unflatten this, attach both pieces, then flatten them. And then there we have that. So from here, then I'm going to do make, uh, 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 you know, I don't want to waste. So I'm going to go back to my canvas and then I'm going to double these again like i did before so we're going to duplicate them and i don't know why that one did not go i didn't change oh um the box made it larger but we're going to try to move it back here and see what happens if not we're going to get rid of one of these rebels can't do that all right I don't want two rebels, so I'm going to get rid of one of the rebels. So hide it just so that I can get rid of it. And then I have these three items here. 
So now I'm going to send that back to the printer and we're going to go back through our process the way that I just showed you. Now that you've seen that, this is this is what it looks like now. So you can see it's one rectangle here. It's not cut in the inside. This is not cut in the inside. So it's not messing with all of those little lines right here in the B. So you want to make sure that um, if you have especially those small intri intricate cuts that you're doing something like this to help yourself out. Um, and this is what our other one looked like. So super, super cute. So I just got a few items here that we're going to attach these to and then we're going to be done for the day. Um, so I am going to move this from my face down to where you can see my mat. We're just going to start with this shirt. These are just things I had extra laying around the house, y'all. So we're working with what, what I got right here. Um, so I'm going to use uh, the baby person. I should know his name. Don't get mad at me if you're a big Star Wars person. Though he has, he's wise. The wise one. <laughs> so I'm just going to pull it off just like that. I am going to, I'm going to put him over to the side because I want to find the middle of my shirt, y'all. So, in finding the middle, I just fold it in half. And then I'm going to take my heat press and I am using the HTV Runt heat press today. Um, if you have the Cricut one, use the Cricut one. If you have the one that, like I have in the garage, that folds down, that folds you know that has the press you have the heat that larger heat press of course then use what you got baby use what you got that's what I'm doing today so you can see I have this line down the middle that's going to help me know where to line up my image so I'm also going to just fold my image over here and just a faint line at the top and a faint line at the bottom that way like i didn't do no hard pressing and making a serious crease but that way i have a crease enough to know where i want to start and where i want to stop and it makes it even all that good stuff so i just kind of eyeball it um, this is a smaller shirt normally an adult shirt i'm two to three inches down this is probably an inch and a half or so um, from there you can take a piece of Teflon or a piece of cloth, whatever you want, you can put over top of it. And I'm looking for my Teflon, y'all. <laughs> so I'm going to take this piece of Teflon, I'm going to put it over top, and then I'm going to put my press on. I have it at 305 degrees. Um, the, and then I'm going to hit start and I'm going to let it go for about 20 seconds here um, and then like I said with the HTV rock press I do like that it gives you a pressure although I still don't know <laughs> I keep saying that, I still don't know what that how what is a good amount of pressure so I'm, I still don't know the gauge for that yet um, let's see here make sure we got it all and that is freaking cute so there's our first one 20 seconds and you got this cute little shirt freaking adorable all right so that's the first one i'm gonna leave that there all right now we're gonna do one of these star wars um logo things here and with this one again we made it a square so we should be able let's go ahead and put our crease in our shirt again we're gonna find our our middle of our shirt the same way unless you want it offset if you want to offset it then of course you don't have to do the step step but if you would like for it even in the middle of the shirt this is where this step comes in handy and again you're just putting that press on there enough to give it some heat the heat helps get your fabric ready but it also puts that crease in there that helps you find the middle of your shirt okay so um, from there we have our crease now down the middle. Now we're gonna get our image. Again, these were um, just done in, in rectangles. So that's really all that I have to do as far as getting it off of the paper. I'm then gonna fold that, making sure those corners match so that I can know 
and again a small pinch here a small pinch here just so that I can enough where I can see a line um, and then I also kind of look at where um, what part of the image is on what side so here I'm going to line that up mm, that one's harder to see I'm going to line that up like this and then I'm going to take my paper sometimes I do y'all if y'all watch enough of my videos you know sometimes I don't always have my Teflon sheet here if I don't have it I mean I haven't found where it just melts on my press either so um, you know that's that so that's up to you on whether you want to use it but you should probably have something over it so that you don't scorch your image so and you can do this with like pictures like if you have a family reunion coming up you can do this with like memorial stuff if someone in your family has passed away um just different ways you can use it but look at that another cute one y'all freaking adorable and like i said you could put the three here if there were like three months or three years you could always do something and make it like birthday party um and a, make it a birthday party gear and then i just have these little towels that you know kids you can take with you to wipe your kids face or whatever so i just thought well let me put something <laughs> i was looking for things to put stuff on so that i can show y'all these so we're just gonna throw we're gonna throw one of these star wars on here that's individually cut just so you guys can see that as well in case you haven't seen one of my other videos where i've mistakenly <laughs> done this before so you can see that there's just a little bit more work to um using it where you don't put that border behind it so this i would have to actually take out each letter line them back up so it's just more of a process um than if you have that border where you can just make that square but if you're like using somebody's face and you want the image to be um, cut out exactly then i would definitely suggest that you watch um, one of the other videos that I have because I have done a couple several different print and cut videos is actually one of my more popular videos so it's something that you should be able to find quickly in my library um, to um, be able to get more information about cutting around but like you can see cutting around here you just got to be careful because this would have been fine I would have just had to put it in place but it had all of that smaller detail in there. So that's the only reason that got messed up. Because you can see the Star Wars here is fine. Um, it's just a matter of now you got to line it up. Do you want to use a ruler? I mean if you do this it isn't a complete waste. Just get yourself a, a ruler out. I have a clear ruler that is not close to me right now. That, um, a, that I can just put down. And then I can just line stuff up. The way that I want or sometimes I just take the design in a new way and make everything crooked or not together or at a slant you know so you can always do that too so and maybe we try that with this just to see um, what that looks like sometimes it turns out good and sometimes it doesn't but if you can make it work why not make it work so um I'm just slowly getting this off because I also don't want to tear the design by rushing myself here. Um, let's see. All right. So let's see here. So I'm even going to use the edge of my, since that's a straight edge, make sure my straight edge is here. And that'll just help me. Like if you had a ruler and you was doing this, it would just help you get everything lined up the way that you want it. <laughs> and this will, this is where. I have to do it the other way because if not, I will be here all day like, oh, it needs to be two millimeters over. <laughs> so that would drive me crazy. So we're going to.
we're going to do a rush job on this just so that I can show you guys because I'm going to mess with this all day if I don't. So I'm just going to put that over there just the same way. I got it on at 305. I'm going to hit my button. It's going to give me actually I said 20 seconds and it was 15. So we're going to do 15 seconds here, giving it a little bit of a press. Um, and then we are going to be done for the day. We've done, we've done a couple of things. All right. So here and then you're, there you have it. And you got a little towel that can go along with the shirt. You know, you can make stuff matchy matchy, do that whole thing. So, um, let me just pull this camera back up so I can see you guys. So again, we have... We have that. Um, we have that where the letters are individual. We did a pretty print and cut with him, the wise one. I also wanted to show you, like I did this, I've actually done this video twice. So um, we have where if you wanted it on a, a, a bigger shirt, you know, you could do that. Here's an um, anime one for those of you that are in anime. So there's all different kinds of way that you, ways that you can do this. So look at the print and cut videos. I'm also I also have a few sublimation videos out there if you're interested in that. Um, getting ready to use my sublimation printer a little bit more. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you all the next time. Please like, subscribe, and follow. Thank you. Like, subscribe, and follow. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See you all the next time. Bye.